We're about to show you confronting exclusive pictures of a violence crisis driven by homelessness in Northbridge and the city. It's prompted calls for the McGowan government to speed up its response and police to step in. A police in Perth city crackdown, a new government homelessness strategy. Authorities have already taken action, but this is still the ugly reality outside the Tranby Centre in Northbridge. It's too graphic to show, but this man is captured on camera, stomping on a woman's head. Security guards repeatedly trying to intervene in the violence, even taking punches. It's definitely not working. I think that's, that's obvious. I don't think anybody would say that what's currently happening is achieving anything. The homelessness centre on Aberdeen Street admits it's overwhelmed. We're currently funded for uh, 80 people through the Department for Communities and we're seeing up to 280 people a day. We're in crisis. We need support from the state government. The centre extended its opening hours in late October and has bolstered its security, but it's pleading for more resources, blaming the violence on drug dealers preying on the homeless. Nearby businesses say they were only told the Tranby Centre would extend its hours a week in advance. They also claim there was no consultation from the state government, City of Perth or Uniting Care West. Workers say they feel unsafe from the regular fights. I can understand that they're frustrated by the extent of antisocial behaviour. Yes, we have some members of the public who say move it down the road, um, but I don't accept that. But the government's 10-year homelessness strategy doesn't begin until the new year, and the opposition wants action now. There's still incidents happening, so clearly something still needs to be done. Something's not working. It's important for me as a government minister to get the message uh, out very clearly that violence in any situation is not acceptable. Cayman Gok, Nine News.